Does Artblock exist? Yes, it does. But first of all, to solve a problem, you need to know where this problem comes from. Artblock happens mentally. So you need to find out what in your mind is blocking you. If you know what's blocking you, then you can find a way to avoid getting art blocks or at least to know how to get rid of them. That doesn't mean if you get jealous by seeing another artist's works and it triggers your art block, you will need to stop watching them. It means to find another way to enjoy their art and get affected in a positive way to continue creating your own works. Sometimes you need to change the way you're thinking. I do believe that there are different types of art blocks. One type is pretty like having a burnout. It can happen to every person, not only artists. Ideas are lacking and you're putting even more pressure on yourself because every mistake makes you losing time. So everything needs to work perfectly. And if you don't work perfectly, it's discouraging yourself. Everything you do frustrates you even more and you just can't get anything done. Forcing yourself to get things done and feeling guilty if you can't get creative enough is poisoning your creative mind. If you are feeling like this, you really need to take a break because these are signs that it's no help to continue forcing yourself any longer. It's getting unhealthy for you. Start to clean up your desk or your art space, put everything where it belongs to. It might sound ridiculous, but don't blame yourself. If you are blaming yourself for being exhausted, you will not recover that easy. And you even might destroy your creative mind for nothing. You need to take some distance, a break. You need to do something that's good for you, something that makes you happy. Go out for a walk, meet up with friends. A change of your surroundings can help a lot to gain energy. Artists need vacations as well. It's definitely not easy to stop so suddenly for a break and it's up to you how long this break needs to be. Sometimes it takes a week, sometimes two, but you should really try to enjoy this time until it really tickles you to get creative again. You will definitely feel it if your mind is ready again for new creative processes. Sometimes it also helps just to turn everything off. No music, no television, drinking a hot cup of tea and just looking outside the window, enjoying the silence and calm down. Most of the time art blocks start because of monotone working. As an artist you need to give your brain some variety, which influences and inspires you to have ideas to create. This won't happen if you stop learning and always do the same. You need to expand your knowledge, otherwise you will always stay at the same point and never move forward. If you never expand your knowledge as an artist, someday you might have no ideas anymore or your skill level stays the same, so that you are not able to create new and exciting art. It's like this pretty common excuse, but it's my style, which basically means to me, I am too afraid of trying new things and critique myself. So you will stay at the same point and avoid drawing hands, for example, what will not help you to increase your skill level. So at the end, your art will always look the same. And someday, this can be pretty frustrating if you're not able to create a great idea you have in your mind. By expanding your knowledge, Trying out new things is like feeding your brain. If you stop feeding it, someday it will stay empty. And empty brain equals no ideas. And then there's a pretty common kind of an art block in which most people want to create something, but they don't have any ideas like everything in their mind is just empty. So I have collected some tips which might help you to keep your mind working and inspire you to gain ideas again. If you have no ideas, start doodling. It promotes your visual thinking and everything you doodle, no matter if you just draw mindless loops, dots or stars, it will help you to get you out of drawing nothing. By just starting a loop, you will start to add more and more details. Sometimes people are too afraid of the empty space on paper because 
they want to create something perfectly, and this might trigger an art block. Doodling does not mean to draw perfect, it means to start, like a warm-up. If you have no idea what you should doodle, just start drawing things around you. Redraw your old drawings. In this way, you don't need to find a completely new idea for a drawing, but you still can be creative. You will also see a difference of your art progress from now and then. This can cause a boost of motivation, like reaching a new high score. Staying motivated is important to stay creative. There are so many kinds of challenges to find in the internet. Most of them will force you to create with a limited color selection or with different art materials or to draw at least every day. There are challenges like the 30 day drawing challenge, Inktober, marker challenges, ballpoint challenges and so much more. Most of these challenges have different lists with tasks to draw. In case you have no idea again. And this is pretty helpful. Sometimes a messy art place can cause something like a negative impact of your creative processes. Maybe you need to clean up or change the position of your art place. Believe it or not, our surroundings can have a huge impact subconsciously. Sometimes even little changes can make big differences. If you are happy at your workspace, then you will feel less stress. It's also good to get creative somewhere else. Sitting in a cafe, drawing other people there, going outside enjoying the weather while drawing. A change of your surroundings can work wonders. Spending time with friends is great, but getting creative with them will help you to stay motivated. It's similar to people who want losing some weight. With a friend, everything is easier. And you can challenge each other to reach new personal high scores. And it can inspire you to be creative with other people who also like to draw. I personally love following a lot of different artists, watching their progress, seeing what kind of styles they have and maybe trying something similar. It really inspires me to see good artists. When I was a child, I always said to myself, one day I am as good as this artist. Or better. Instead of being jealous and blocking myself with thoughts like, I will never get as good as this artist. Because that's not true. Losing hope is never a good option. You can use a jealous feeling to motivate yourself or turn it into motivation. But this is a double-edged sword. You can get motivated through that, but it's also possible that it causes an art block in your mind. As I said in the beginning, sometimes you need to change the way you're thinking. What about you? Have you ever had an art blog and what did you do against it? And if you want me to help doing more tutorials on YouTube, you can support me on Patreon. Links and more info, like always, in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative. Bye bye!